Welcome to episode number 5 of Horizon Next. This is your host Akshay Adesh. Today's episode we have titled as Success for All. And today we're going to discuss on how customer success teams have been changing the game in an IT organization. Meanwhile, I would also like to thank all our audience for showing all that love on our previous episodes. It is a pleasure to see all that love coming in through your likes, shares and subscribes. And we'd like to have more subscribers and reach 1000 subscribers as soon as possible. That being said, I have two amazing guests for the day. So my first guest is uh, Prakyat Nair, Senior Partner Business Representative at Nivea Solutions. Uh, welcome to Thank the show, Prakyat. And also uh, my second guest for the day is Arko Prabhu Basu. He's a customer success manager here at Nivea Solutions and he's been driving many engagements with so many of our clients. So welcome to the show. Hi, thanks. So Arko, I would like to ask you the first question of today's podcast. So a uh, normal audience wouldn't know what a customer success management is and what does the team do. So my question is, uh, I would like you to explain what customer success manager is on a whole and why has it become such a critical part of an IT landscape today? Customer success management or CSMs, what we call, uh, is, is very, very important in today's highly competitive business world to ensure the customer gets the maximum services and from the loyalty aspect as well. We make sure that the customer is getting whatever they have opted for in terms of the business from the platform, right? And we also make sure we are providing the proper proactive communication to the customers, okay? So as to understand their requirement and proactively solve it. So it's not that I'm only solving the problem for the customer, I'm also maintaining a long lasting relationship with the customer. Right. So what we do is basically there are a lot of analysis that we do, data collection, feedback analysis from which we understand what the customer exactly needs in today's world. Right. And we constantly try to achieve that so that the customer is also achieving the goals. The customer comes to you uh, for certain services. So we make sure that those goals are met. Right. Customer success, if you see, it's a it's a very uh, critical per position right so uh, i have to work for the organization as well i'll have to work for the cu customer as well right mm -hmm. so i'll have to make sure my organization is also meeting the revenue and the cu customer is also getting the best of the best services mm -hmm. so that is why customer success is very very important in today's world right to a to maintain the relationship with the customer to make sure the organization is meeting the goals and c is customer is getting the proper service from my organization what they have opted for so that is why it is one of the critical role in today's highly competitive business world so uh, technically you be the once uh, a company becomes a customer so you are someone who does the upselling or cross-selling within our services and what we offer to the customer proactively that is correct so once the customer we need to make sure once the customer is onboarded smoothly we need to understand what services they have opted for and we also need to understand what can be better in their ecosystem right so we need to act on to that accordingly so that the customer understands yes i have someone to take care of me right so that is where the customer success ma managers come from that is very important from my aspect uh, thank you so much for that answer Arko. so uh, prakyat you being in this business for so long, right? So uh, what are the key uh, qualities of an individual that will contribute to this role? And also for uh, beginners, if they want to pursue who are aware of this line of business or this job role, what would be the key qualities that they should be looking up to? So for someone who is looking to start their career as a CSM or someone who is pursuing their uh, career as a CSM, uh, I would suggest uh, communication skill is one such skill set which is mainly required in this role right because you have to set a proper set of expectation with customer and take pr uh, proper feedback as well mm -hmm. so this is where a communication plays a major role here secondly i would say a uh, problem solving approach right mm -hmm. so customer it's not like he will come with the proper set of questions and you have proper set of mm -hmm. ready-made answers it doesn't work that way right so customer success each time customer comes up with a different question you should have that ability uh, to resolve their problems, understand their problems and then resolve it, right? Then comes stakeholder management because as a CSM, uh, you deal with uh, multiple stakeholders, internal and external. So in, within external, there are decision makers and then there are users of your product. And internal, there are your product team, product management, uh, your management and uh, multiple teams within, right? So 
to conclude as one more pointer i would say uh, is with uh, regards to time management so as a csm you will be handling n number of customers right so each customer's requirement is different each mm. customer wants it right now yeah. <laughs> right so with the competitive market it becomes very challenging to manage your time mm. so time management is one of those prominent skills which one should focus on if they are looking to start their career as a csm uh, that was a great answer prakash so i'm sure the audience who was uh, listening to uh, you know your answer who wanted to start their career as csms they would really love that uh, right uh so arco uh, i would like to ask you this so this is an era of uh, subscription based services and saas right software as a service so in this era how do csms uh, you know help in retaining customers and also reduce the churn rate i think i have answered a bit of it in my last mm-hmm. question uh so i'll continue uh, explaining uh, the other half right so customer success managers or csms right play a very vital role in retaining the customers on the platform so as i told as and when the customer is onboarded it starts with a smooth onboarding experience because if your onboarding experience is not smooth the customer first of all will start having doubts right and after the onboarding is done by our team we need to make sure what is the requirement of the customer what is the timeline that needs to be done right so we need to work on that so that the project is uh, completed within that stipulated time frame now my role as a customer success manager comes in the customer has asked something from us from our product and platform right i need to evaluate what more can i add right if the if that is required for the customer or not in our product or platform if that is required for and if that is giving any additional advantage to the customer right and accordingly i have to do a proactive communication with my customers that so th- this is required for you and th- this will be so and so value add for you with this you are not only doing a long lasting relationship with the customer you are also helping the customer to opt for that service which is required for him this way you are working for the customer ensuring customer loyalty which is very much required in this highly competitive world and also for your organization right so these are the two very important things which you need to do because nowadays you see customer loyalty is very much missing nowadays so you need to focus on customer loyalty what the customer actually needs and what value at can you go give to the customer told uh, that you need to be in the shoes of the customer and understand their requirements so you actually need to be in the shoes of the customer and see what is good for him and what is bad for him accordingly you need to suggest so that is how you build a long lasting relationship with the customer and once the cu- customer sees he has the confidence in you and he i am the right person for him suggesting the right product at the right point of time he'll never be uh, going away from you Correct. so that's how you retain the customer on the platform so in other words you're making sure that the customer feels like okay so, so someone's taking care of me oh, absolutely yes. uh, if i have to give an example if someone's you know moving into a, an entirely new cloud from on premise or from any other cloud um, you would need an infrastructure over there right so probably that's where you come in and tell him see this is a cloud native security tool that you might need for your new for your new cloud so this is how it works and that's where the customer feel like we find someone's giving a thought into this maybe and he understands my problem absolutely so uh, i need to be the value add for him right it's not that whatever he is asking i am g- giving only that what is good for him as i told what is bad for him i need to understand that suggest him accordingly thank you thank you so much for that answer uh, and uh, prakyat you uh, earlier in your previous response uh, you told me that uh, you know you have to work with multiple uh, stakeholder teams especially the internal stakeholder teams so as far as my understanding goes after the interaction with the both of you all Uh, you will have to interact with the marketing team you will have to interact with the sales team the product delivery team and also the engineering team right so uh, how do you manage this interaction because it's more like uh, you're doing upselling and cross selling so it's a cross uh, approach towards the client so how does that management work for you yeah so yeah that's a good question uh, see internal stakeholder management is uh, one of the key functions of uh, Uh, csm right so it is very challenging and you have to play diplomatic in this role right uh, see firstly with regards to sales team uh, because they are the ones who will give you the handover of the that particular customer whoever you are going to maintain the relationship further right so with the sales team it is on a day to day basis you will have the interaction and uh, firstly you will 
get to know the entire background of the customer and then onboard them uh, for your journey uh, to continue with right so smooth onboarding is required and to do so sales teams uh, collaborating with sales is something required and uh, with regards to marketing so marketing team is the one where you receive the feedbacks or the success mm-hmm. stories from customer which will give us an additional mileage through which we can uh, pitch the further customers in the same uh, industry or the different uh, mm-hmm. likewise right then comes your uh, de- products and the delivery teams so these are the ones uh, where you will be seeking you will be basically a bridge between customer and a product team mm-hmm. you will receive the feedbacks from uh, the customer and provide it in a proper format to the right stakeholders inside i mean the deliveries of the product team so that they can improve their product or the service going forward right and uh, it's not like every time uh, goes as per the plan so there might be changes required during the process or the service and it is important that csm plays a bridge yeah. role and communicate it in a right manner uh, with the delivery teams and understand their challenges as well so internal stakeholder management as i said it's not as simple as that uh, you will have to be diplomatic you will have to choose your words correctly and uh, yeah that is where it is yeah. so if my understanding is right uh, it's more like every other team like sales marketing and the de- uh, delivery team so they all have to go hand in hand with you Correct. so that uh, customer success is ensured yes that's absolutely right uh, because if csm is not there then there is no communication in between mm-hmm. right so csm is very crucial at this point uh, from customer point of view he will be the single point of contact for internal he will be the single point of contact so for the end to end journey csm is something me i would say uh, so prakash you just mentioned that you know you are the single point of contact for, uh, for internal and also for the external client so being that one single point of contact so what are the challenges that you see on an everyday basis Uh, to answer your question uh, csm faces multiple uh, challenges in its day in and day out activity so first thing i would say is prevention of churn out because the market is so lucrative and uh, customers are attracted to multiple offers that are in market right so as a csm it is your responsibility that your existing customers don't leave you and move out to a different uh, mm-hmm. provider right uh the second point i would say is with regards to your uh, cost cost cutting so in today's uh, outside market right so every customer is behind uh, cost cutting or cost sensitive at this point right so all this uh, giving a proper commercials to right uh, stakeholder at right point and uh, to know what to pitch in at what time mm-hmm. is something uh most challenging for a csm i would say uh the third point is uh with regards to uh, scaling of operations right mm-hmm. so when i say scaling of operations uh customer has some sort of expectations and it is our responsibility to deliver to that set mm-hmm. of expectation so there might be mismatch between those expectation uh so that is where csm plays a crucial role and uh, we as a csm should be in the shoes of customer hmm. and uh, try to understand his perspective as well so th- these are certain challenges uh, csm faces in day in and day out activity i would say now uh, thank you so much for sharing those challenges with us prakash so uh, arko i have the last question of this podcast for you okay so we at navies everybody knows that you know we are a premium partners of google cloud platform we have so many specializations that we're getting every year and you know we've, we've been offering so many services and you being the single point of contact as a csm and the entire team doing so much of work how does our csm team stand out from the rest in the organization go outside the box to solve the customer problems right so there's no one standard checkbox that we follow we understand each requirement from each customer okay and we go ahead to solve that right and there's no fit for one particular checkbox over here So Nivea is always at the forefront in solving customer problems and that's how we gain the trust of the customers and get we solve the customer loyalty by that way right having said that Nivea is also 
at the forefront when the technology comes and that's how uh, you have seen we solve the cutting edge technological problems. So for us, uh, it's very important uh, to solve the problem for the customer okay, and also to maintain an everlasting relationship with the customer because it's not that when the issues are coming up, you are only contacting the customer. You'll have to be on your toes okay, and you'll have to maintain a very fruitful relationship with the customer. Right? And since we as CSMs are always in, in Nivius, are always at the forefront of continuous learning and improvement, this definitely gives us an upper hand from the other competitors in the market to understand the customer requirements, solve the problem, gain the trust of the customers and help the customers retain in the same platform. Thank you so much for that wonderful answer, Arko. And with that, we come to the end of today's episode. Thank you all for watching this video for uh, all this time. And if you have watched the video for thus long, please hit the like button. And also there's a red button which is uh, written as subscribe. Please click on that as well. And also the bell icon to stay tuned to all our latest videos. And also I would like to thank my two amazing guests for the day, uh, Arko and Pragya. Thank you so much. It was an absolute pleasure having you over this show. And with that, we come to an end. This is your host, Akshay, signing off for today's episode. Thank you so much.